Tonight at 601, our own Rich Van White spoke to officials at a local hospital on how they're preparing to take patients who test positive. The sprawling Methodist Hospital has only six rooms available to treat potential coronavirus patients. To keep the virus from infecting other patients and caregivers, the Centers for Disease Control requires they be treated in specially equipped isolation rooms. That is really a, a, a difficult thing, not only here, but actually across the country. According to Foster, the hospital is considering converting some existing rooms into isolation rooms, and if necessary, creating additional bed space by switching single patient rooms back into doubles. And it's not like I'm throwing a bed into a single patient room. These rooms are already set up to handle two um, patients at the same time. IU Health's virtual clinic is running 24-7 answering calls from people worried they might be infected with the coronavirus. In face-to-face -face conversations, registered nurses ask about the caller's symptoms, where they've traveled, and who they've had contact with. Without the free help, Dr. Michelle Saisana believes most callers would go to doctor's offices, clinics, and ERs. Yes, yes. And that's problematic. That can be very problematic, especially when we're trying to also take care of patients, um, other patients who may need our care. Hospitals preparing for a potential COVID-19 outbreak while not neglecting the needs of existing patients has become a daily challenge. Right now, we are plumb full of patients that are really, really sick. So where do those patients go to to make room for these new ones? These are difficult discussions that are happening almost continuously. That IU Health Virtual Clinic has helped more than 850 people. It's easy. Go to your smartphone, download the app, you enter personal information, you're connected. Right now, Cliff, Kendra, Leslie, Jesse, all nurses, all waiting for somebody to call them looking for help. You think about so many hospitals across central Indiana. Are they working together as a group on this, or are they going at it alone? Well, I'm told, Scott, they are working together, something they've done before. They're comparing notes, talking about plans, talking about options they have with them. They're also working with the county health department. A big obstacle, though, there are black holes of information. Mm. There are things they want to know about this virus that nobody knows yet. All right, Rich, thanks so much.